Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm Ochemi Peter from Prime Media. Welcome to this program. Today, we begin um, our program with um, Vanguard, Vanguard News. Okay. U.S. Um, impose um, visa ban on Nigerians for 2022. U.S. imposes visa ban on Nigerians' 2023 election rigging. Okay, this is from Vanguard. You can see it on our screen. You can see it on our screen. U.S. is imposing a visa ban on Nigerians' 2023 elections rigging. So if you want to read more on this, you can visit them. Um, Vanguard uh, newspaper. Okay, we move to the next one. Um, this next one is from is from is from Punch. Tsunombo's inauguration. Military IG warns troublemakers as court hears anti handover case. Okay, the military, the Nigerian military and police are still warning um, general the public that they should be very careful. People that want to make trouble on that day, they are, they are ready for them. If you are one of these, you have to be. If you are one of these people, you have to be very careful. They are ready for you guys. Okay, if you want to read more on that, you can visit the um, Punch newspaper. Let's move to the next one. Okay, this one is um, Hilda. Hilda's Marathon Cooking Smashes World Record, Grabs Global Attention. Okay, for people that don't know much about this, um, this Hilda issue, um, Hilda, um, stuff that has been going on for the past four days. Hilda, Hilda was he's trying to break um, Guinness Book record. He says he wants to cook for the whole Nigerians. So this is it, and she she managed to cook and go to um, 100 hours. Okay, so um, let let's watch a little video on that. Let's see. Let's watch a little video on that. This is it. Okay, this is Hilda. That's Lagos State Governor. A young Nigerian chef Hilda Bassi may be on her way to setting a new global record. A Hilda who has been in the kitchen for the past three days is attempting a Guinness World Record for the longest cookathon or cooking marathon. The attempt will see her take an hour break in between every 12 hours of cooking. Hilda aims to break the Guinness World Record of 87 hours, 45 minutes, and 00 seconds set by Chef Lata Tondon in Rewa, India in 2019. And of those that have visited the venue to show their support for Hilda is the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu. According to Governor Sonwolu, who witnessed the 69th hour of the cooking exercise, his visit is to boost Hilda's morale and encourage other Nigerians to take a cue. Spirit that we're talking about. We will break that record by the grace of God. Yeah. 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 Y
to finish it and finish well. Amen. Amen. And here you gave us also broke the record of the largest number of cupcakes in the world. So you will also be doing another first for our country, for our state, and for your family. I'm so proud of you. Right. And I can see that you are fucked up to ensure that you get to the finish line. Do you get there very, very well. I will come with you for you. Thank you very much. And thank you very much to all of you. Get your inspiration. Okay, that's um that's from Hilda's event. Okay, you all heard the the uh, the motivational and um, words from the from the president um, um governor of Lagos State. So Hilda surprised them um, the whole Nigerians. So that that video is from is from channels. You can go there and watch more photos to you channels for that. Okay, let's move to the next news. This um this is um Shion Kuti's um issue. Okay, this reads um Shion Kuti spends night in custody. Police plan arrangement. Wow. Um there is one viral video that has been going around on social media where um um Shion Kuti was seen slapping a police officer. And there is another one going on in still in social media. He was bragging that he slapped the police officer. I didn't know how many police officers he has slapped so far. So they are arranging it for 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 they, they they called him for they invited him and he went to to present himself yesterday. So he he had been detained since yesterday to today. So they are planning to arrange him. I think um, this is wrong. This is wrong. You don't show public that um, whatever the police has done to you, you don't have the right or you know, the right to slap them at all. Who's especially when they are when they are on their uniform. So people are they have to be careful. We don't know how this story will end. So let's cross. Let's put our finger across and watch till the end of this. Okay. Okay. If you want to read more on that news, you can visit and punch newspaper. So we move to the next one. Move to the next one. Still on um, Shion's um, issue. This is assault. Why Shion Kuti was handcuffed? This is coming from the um, police and um, PRO. Okay, um, people were asking um, that. Okay, people were saying that Shion present himself to the police. How come? Why are they um, handcuffing him? So um, the the police person, the PRO, is trying to explain that. He read, um, this uh, news reads that the Nigerian police force public relations officer Olumu Yua Adejobi has explained the handcuffing and, sus and suspect before detention is standard procedure. He said this in response to an inquiry via his Twitter handle on Monday. He tripped Omo David had questioned the police for handcuffing Afrobeat singer Sheon Kuti after he submitted himself and walked into the Lagos Police Command, saying, was the handcuff necessary? And why collect his shoes? NPF Shah, so they are trying to explain to you that handcuffing a suspect is, is normal. So it's, it's, it's on the standard. So don't see that if it's something that is bad. Okay, if you want to read more on that news, you can you can visit Punch Punch newspaper. Let's move to the next one. Okay, this one is um, Lagos Lagos government alerts commuters amid plan to inaugurate Dangote's refinery. Okay, they are inaugurating Dangote's refinery, so um, Lagos State is is planning on on how move the movement on this as it should be on that day. If you want to read more on this one, you can visit the channel's uh, news. Okay, I think we'll be wrapping up this um, news for today. Calling it a day for today. This is all what we have to 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 um, show you people for today. So you can still keep um, logging on to Prime Media 
watch us and get the latest um, news update from us. So do have a wonderful day.